Well, this is a review two years anticipated. Nova Nukas is a game I covered in my Gamescom 2016 video, and it's one I spied when I revisited Gamescom last year. A mainstay of the indie arena, Lemon Bomb's frantic four-player brawler has finally been released. I'm eager to start off this review by stating my feelings going into Nova Nukas were ones of anticipation and a certain familiarity since I had tried the game before at Gamescom. And I can happily report that not much has changed, which is a good thing considering how much fun my friends and I had with it back then. Players all start on the same small, destructible planetoid with the idea that you must stun and capture your friends to be crowned the winner. To that end, items are obtained randomly through box drops with the additional skill of dashing through opponents, stunning them enough to trigger a capture. Then again, capturing is still quite the task, as you kite and dodge yourself away from enemy fire and your mid-capture opponent tries to peel you off from their hide or grant enough distance between you to interrupt your capture. Once captured, players then take control of a satellite beam that can be charged and fired down on other players, stunning them and creating even more havoc. This system allows for insane amounts of fun I've rarely experienced on Steam. It's something of a edge of your seat kind of ordeal that I've only felt from Duck Game or Super Smash Brothers. I tried to think myself a bit more creative than to reuse a word that's already sprung up once before at the start of this video, but frantic encompasses all Nova Nuka's aims to be. Controls are simple enough, right click for capturing boxes and players, space for jump and a double jump, left shift for a short dash with a recovery period at the end. Everything feels a little clunky, which is more meant to punish you for spamming wayward maneuvers, leaving you susceptible to other players. Progression is handled through repeated playings of maps, unlocking items, skins and even other worlds to play on. All the items have their uses, even though I'll admit not all of them feel balanced. For instance, the aura power-up, which grants invincibility from stuns, seems to crop up far too often in my games. Other weapons will home in on players and stun them, while basic weapons are quite difficult skill shots. On the other hand, the lobby system does a good job of achieving balance through its setup. To my mind, Nova Nukas has a unique game choice mechanic. Each player will choose a stage and what items they have, and the game will select a player at random before the game starts, granting that player's choice for that match. Quite an ingenious idea, and it allows private matches with friends to be dictated a lot more easily, but it can also lead to challenging variations in weapon types. Online play seems very well designed, and latency definitely wasn't a problem. Recovering from stuns requires the mashing of the space button, and... For some reason, my game kept tabbing me out and unlocking the mouse, making mouse aiming excessively difficult until the next round starts. However, bugs like these are to be expected with such an early release, and I'm sure patches will alleviate this. My only gripe with Nova Nukas is that, for now, the game contains only one game mode, the stun and capture match. Frantic at first, there's that word again, but stale after an hour or so of playtime which is odd considering the Steam page notes there are different game modes. Then again, additional game settings do add a bit of variation, so Nova Nukas does have the potential to be exceedingly addictive. The graphics have always been a talking point for Nova Nukas, turning heads and causing cues every time I saw them at Gamescom. The colourful 3D models are animated wonderfully amid the puffs of smoke and sparking explosions. The jaunty, almost Crash Bandicoot-inspired soundtrack matches the action to a T. And the selling point of destructible environments means matches resolve themselves quickly. By capture or lava, there's no threat of games endlessly dragging on. Things tend to escalate very quickly and that's a good thing. It's still early days for Nova Nukas, and with updates, the game has a lot of potential. I've loved it since I played it those two years ago. In all honesty, the price point at the moment is a bit much for what enjoyment you can wring out of the solitary game mode, but I'd argue that the experience and presentation is that of a game made by a brilliant team who can build Nova Nukas into an indie multiplayer entry to rival that of Duck Game. You will like this game if you like Super Stardust HD, Destructible Terrain, and Giant Death Beams.